everyone. So I'm out here in some nature. I shouldn't really be here. There's a risk of rocks falling on my head. Um, that's sort of been prevalent since the earthquakes here in Christchurch. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was actually a a very good thing to look at whether you know you think a certain lifestyle or a diet is good for you you know is it healthy is it actually gonna give you a better quality of life because so many people I see are on these diets and they're doing more detriment to their health than actually making it any better you know what's the point of being on some diet if you can only sustain it for a week or a month or one year you want to be on a diet whatever you like to call it I I've never dieted but you want to be eating in a way that's gonna be sustainable long term for you and you know I guess that's the reason why I like to eat a plant-based diet I guess it's the reason why I like to live a vegan lifestyle and it doesn't take much to discover the reasons why and I, I feel like longevity of life and quality of life are really good measures of whether you know what you're eating what you diet. I hate using the word diet but I'm just going to use the word diet for this video and I shouldn't use the word hate either that's a harsh word anyway you should be looking at longevity and the quality of life of the people who follow you know the diet the lifestyle to get a good indicator of you know is this is this sustainable is this healthy is this gonna give me what I want out of life and even more um, if any of you have ever looked into or heard of um, anything called blue zones then you'll probably understand a little bit what I'm saying if you don't I'll fill you in a little bit so there is some books out there and I can put in the description box down below some more information but they're just looking at groups of people around the world that live the longest healthiest life and if we look at the Anoka Islands I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong it's a it was a group of people in Japan and they live uh, for a very long healthy life as well and um, I can't remember exactly the amount of years and I can put that in the description box down below of the average you know that they would however long that they would live and the predominant thing about the way they lived was their diet and they ate a 98 percent plant-based diet I think with the exception of they probably have a little bit of fish maybe very very little amount and that was the other two percent that was animal based since then, um, that sort of research and that, that's been done, and with the introduction of the standard American diet, aka the SAD diet, which is prominently growing all around the world, as more civilizations want to live a more um, American style lifestyle, New Zealand being guilty of, of that as well, their longevity and their health has declined. And even if we were to look at back, you know, when they were living a long time, before this introduction of the, you know, SAD diet, or SAD, the only other group of people in the world that, you know, that they do research on that live longer is the Seventh-day Adventist Christians who live in California. And... The predominant thing in their lifestyle is their diet then again and you know seven day adventists they don't all eat the same but when they looked at the ones that just ate 100 percent you know, they ate 100 percent plant-based diet they are the ones that live longer in better quality of life as well than any other group of people in the world um, so that yeah, that's really showing you something. So that yeah, that's longevity. That's showing you 
you can live a really long lifestyle, really long life should I say, eating 100% plant-based diet, probably preferably whole foods, no oil, um, high carb, very low processed foods as well. And then the other thing you want to look at is, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, well, if you eat, you know, I've, I've got a so-and-so or I know so-and-so and they've had bacon for breakfast every day of their life and they've lived till they're 95 or 105. And, you know, I, I wouldn't want to give up my bacon, you know, that's not a, just for another six years of life or so whatever they, whatever number they come up with. A, that's an exception. It's not the rule, it's the exception. If you want to do that, it's not a very high chance that you're going to be that exception to that rule of eating breakfast every day and going to live to 105. And B, a pers that person may have lived for a longer life, but did they have a better quality of life? You know, was their health a better quality? Because when I look around me a lot of the time, this is just an assumption on my own personal experience, I'm not saying that this happens to everybody, but a lot of people I know, they seem to thrive, I guess, when they're young, and then they sort of get to, I don't know, maybe middle of the 20s or something, and then they start to sort of not so thrive anymore, shall I say. So, you know, maybe they start to get more tired, and they get sort of um, stuck in this rat race, if you want to call it of you know just sort of being bogged down with work and family and doing all these these things that may not necessarily make them happy you know and then they get to maybe about 50 and they start having quite a lot of um health things coming up you know they would start maybe maybe they'll start getting high blood pressure and maybe they might get diabetes or something like that or you know, they start, all these things start surfacing and, you know, and then that just brings the quality of, of their health and their life just downhill even more. And then they reach the age of about, you know, 65 or 70 and then they're really starting to get these health problems really arising, you know, it's really, they're starting to take all these medications and they're having to go to the doctors all the time and they're like, they're tired, they're fatigued, they can't fit in their clothes, yet you name it, it's happening. Oh, in erectile dysfunction, like that is just rampant, isn't it? Between for males, once they reach a certain age, um, when they're eating certain foods, you know, and you could probably say the same about the woman. They're, they're, apparently, all their libido dies off and everything like that. And then, you know, maybe they reach to maybe about 75, 80, and then they pass away because of their. Let's just say, out of the 15 highest causes of death in the Western world, 14 of them are dietary related deaths. There's only one that's not dietary related and that's probably accidents. Well it is accidents, okay? So it's almost, it's almost, it's like you're almost 100, almost 100% 100 going to die because of a dietary related disease if you eat SAD, you know, or omnivore, whatever you like to call it. And, you know, that's not necessarily the best quality of life, is it? I mean, you, you could live for maybe a long time, and or maybe even live to 90, but you still be on these medications and everything like that, that's, and you know, and you're quite, they'll be quite sedatory. I mean, I've volunteered in old people's home when I was at high school, so I've definitely seen a lot of old folks. And um, I've seen them through my with my mum's work. She works with a lot of elderly people. It's really sad, you know. They're not mobile. They're stuck on all these drugs. They're not really all there either, and they're just not thriving. But when you look at people like the Seven Day Adventists, and when they're old, you know, like 75 plus, and if they're eating a whole food, 100% plant-based diet, living a vegan lifestyle they are thriving, you know, I was, I can't remember the guy's name, there was a doctor I seen on the, on the news recently, well, you know, on the website, on the news, and he's like, he just retired, he was a heart surgeon for pretty much all his life, he just retired two years ago, 
and he's seven day Adventist. He eats a uh, whole foods, I'm assuming whole, predominantly whole foods, plant based diet, 100% plant based diet. Oh, and disclaimer here, guys, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to promote any sort of religion or I don't have a religious agenda here, but that's just, they're just a good example of the plant based diet because they actually advocate it. And guess, guess how old this guy is? He only retired two years ago from being a heart surgeon. And you've got to think about the amount of skill that goes into um, to being a heart surgeon. This guy is like 101 years old. 101 years old and only retired like two years ago. Like that's insane. And on the footage, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen some um, people as they get older, they start to seem less mobile, their movements are quite slow and a little bit rigid, they always sort of seem like they're in a bit of pain. But this guy, like he could drive, he he moved like he was 60, not 101. It was amazing and, you know, like, this guy also had only started eating a whole plant, started eating a plant-based diet. I can't remember if it was 40 or 50 years ago. But seriously, I mean, if we, even if we just looked at him only being plant-based seed from, you know, only from for, for the last 40 years, he didn't change the way he ate until he was like 60. I mean, it's never, ever too late to change the way you eat. And that's just, that's just one of thousands of examples of that. So yeah, I thought I'd better do a video on this um, because it's quite, you know, I'm quite passionate about it. And a lot of people will say, "Oh, you know, ve vegans not healthy. It's it's um, where do you get your protein? Where do you get your calcium? Oh no, iron. Just make up all these random things." But they f they forget to think it's quite easy to get all those things, and more often than not. They're some of the most unhealthiest people I know that make comments like this as well. <laughs> you know, but it's you know, it's it's more it's not about, you know, how do I look for the next three months of the summer or whatever. It's about what is actually gonna make you live a long time and there's actually going to make you thrive as well like people seem to think oh well what's the, you know like I said with the bacon thing you know they seem to think oh you know I'd rather eat bacon than than live an extra six years it's not about you know living the extra six years I bet those extra six years are a lot better quality of life or even your whole life from when you go plant-based your quality of your health and your life just increases and it's amazing, seriously amazing. It's not about that extra six years, it's about the actual quality of those six years and however many years that you've been eating a plant-based diet, you know? Oh yeah, I'm getting a little bit passionate about it. I hope I didn't come across too aggressive or whatever you like to call it. So yeah, I'm out here in nature doing a few videos for you today. And I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya!